Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Santosh Sahanan from Ortho One, the medical superintendent over here. So I'm going to give you a few tips on uh, how to work in uh, computer over hours for most of the software professionals who work with the system. So let's see what are the difficulties you might be facing with your system. So most of us like working on a laptop. So this is the position you will be sitting in a laptop. This is okay, looks comfortable, but when you work for hours together in this position and when you get involved in that, you tend to bend forward and be in this position for hours together. What are the disadvantages of this? You can see your back. The back is not in a straight position and it, it hunches forward. Your neck looks downwards. So your eye level and the system monitor level is not in the same line, which is not ideal. So the ideal position is to get the seat lower down so that your eye level is at the same level of the system. But what's the disadvantage? Look at your elbows and shoulders. You need to go up on that, which is not ideal. So look at the position of your wrist. It's in maximum deviation. Hours together in this position is not ideal. The so ideal would be to work like that, where you need a longer keyboard. And the other thing which would happen is working on the touchpad. Look at the position of your thumb. Thumb is in maximum abduction. So high chance to get tendonitis, we call it decurrent stenosynovitis. So having a mouse separately when you work a long hours is ideal. So if at all you still want to work on a laptop, try to use separate fingers to use that and try to keep your uh, wrist in a better position. So it, it's not good to work on a system like in a laptop for hours together. It's meant for traveling. If at all you still want to work on a laptop, you can use a Bluetooth keyboard separately and use a mouse separately. Why do I say that? See the position of your elbow and shoulders over here and this is the ideal position. And again, uh, laptops are not suitable for your wrists because all the, the keyboard is too crunched up together, it's not spaced out and the mouse is also together. A mouse, a separate mouse would be helpful. So, so, so now let's see what happens when we are using a desktop. So unlike a laptop which we saw, desktop, can you see the eye level and the monitor level it was almost the same. You can still adjust your seats so that it becomes the same level. And in a desktop, you know, most of the common things are like that. You can adjust it up and down which suits you best. Elevate the level of your monitor according to that. So the same system working uh, in a desktop, looking from above, you can see when you type, look at the position of your wrist. Is much more straighter than what you saw in the laptop, which is bad. And when you use your mouse, look at the position of the wrist again. And your thumb is much, much safer and in a better position. Unlike in the laptop where it was like that constantly, this is much, much safer. And when you're doing repetitive activities, this is more of an ergonomic position. So this is called office ergonomics. So your, when you work for hours together, your hand is spaced out, your elbow, it, your arm wrist must be at the level of your keyboard, so it will be helpful. Your elbow is in a comfortable position, shoulders are good. If the arm wrist is higher, you tend to do, do that. So your shoulders might hurt, you might get impingement. So this is an ideal position. Your arm wrist position is also key over here. And the mouse, mouse in a separate position will be helpful. Too far ahead is not ideal. Mouse in about one and to one and a half feet from your elbows this is the ideal position. Anything forward or away is not good. Anything over here is the best position. So if you see the leg position, you can see the foot is flat and you can see the leg straight and there must be some space below your thighs. Your thighs must not be flat and hanging down fully pressed. Some space below your thigh is the ideal position for sitting and you can see the knee at 90, hip at 90. This is the ideal position for sitting.